What's up guys, Homeless Riot here coming at you with a brand new Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just how to install Forge into your Minecraft and also how to install Forge mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your internet browser, go to Google and type in Minecraft Forge. Once that comes up, you'll see MinecraftForge.net. Click that. Wait for it to load. And once in here, hit Files. And once you've hit files, you'll get to this uh, web page here. And right here, you can see recommended. Uh, ignore Java Doc and SRC. Hit, you're going to want to hit universal. It'll take you into AdFly. Makes you wait 10 seconds. And you got to go through another 5 second ad. As you can see up here, you guys know how AdFly works. But after that, guys, you just want to hit skip ad. And then you just want to go about downloading the file. You just hit save and all that. But I already have the file, so I will go into computer, downloads, and I have it right here. Open up my mod Mac. Alright, so, so here's the file that you should have downloaded. You're going to want to hit, come back up to your start menu, hit run, and if you don't have run there, you're just going to want to hit pro right click, hit properties, hit uh, hit start menu, customize, and you can actually just hit R, and the run command's right there, right by recent items. So you just want to check that, hit OK, hit apply, OK, and then run should be here, but you're going to want to do uh, C colon backslash or forward slash users forward slash whatever your computer name is forward slash app data forward slash roaming forward slash dot minecraft hit ok that should take you directly to your minecraft folder and one second I have I just recently deleted my um, bin because I already had forge in here so I just wanted to show you guys just, just how it worked so I will be back once uh, I have my bin redownloaded Alright guys, so it's almost done downloading here, but I forgot to mention, you're going to need WinRAR, so for those of you who don't have that, go back up to Google, type in WinRAR, right here, the very top link, and just hit the WinRAR uh, 4.20 English 32-bit, or whatever comes up there, just right above there, then just want to hit run and proceed through the download then you have WinRAR so now that I have this downloaded you should have your bin folder go into that and once you have Win WinRAR installed hit your minecraft uh, jar file right here right click open with WinRAR archiver then you should get a little uh, box like this now your meta imp whoops your meta imp folder right here is a must you have to delete it in your minecraft.jar uh, do not delete it in your Minecraft Forge, because uh, so, that contains some of the Minecraft Forge files. But if you do not delete it, the uh, meta inf, the old one in your Minecraft jar, your um, Minecraft will black screen whenever you try to open it. So yes, now I should have Forge installed. So let's just open Minecraft back up, log in, and just make sure that it works. This will come up. That's normal. Wait for it to load. And yes, you it'll come down here, say that you have Forge and how many mods you have loaded. And normally it wouldn't it would just have single player, multiplayer, but now that you have Forge installed, it also adds mods. So you can come in here and check which mods you have. So the next part of this tutorial I will be showing you guys how you can install the mods. So go into Google and just find some mods that you think look cool. I've already been experimenting a bit. I have some cool ones here. So first off, core mods. Uh, you want to get the GUI AP. Go into your core mods folder. Uh, copy it from your downloads folder and put it in the core mods. It must be in the core mods or else it will not work. Uh, now go back into your regular mods folder. And get the mods that you like. So let's just see. Let's get, get this. 
um, let's get this just as a sake of example so now you can close out of these and you want to reopen minecraft once you have placed those mods into the core mods and mods folder wait a second for it to load again and it has a black screen alright so this is something else um either you installed something wrong or there's just something incompatible with your mods so let's uh, I think I've had this problem with the mo creatures mod so I will just try to delete that and reopen minecraft and see if it doesn't black screen but as you guys saw there when it black screen it went to the mojang screen and then a split second later it went straight to black and yes there must be something wrong with my mo creatures mod because it's not black screening and now as you guys can see I have five mods loaded instead of three so if this guide helped you guys at all I ask that you please leave a like comment subscribe helps me out a lot guys and it also keeps me motivated to make more tutorials more guides for you guys to help you guys out so aside from that guys have a nice day and peace out